What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, welcome back Terror Squad, and we are back here with another episode of Vikings, yes, uh, must apologize guys, it's been a, I think the last time I uploaded a Vikings video was, it's been a while, let's just say it's been a while, um, weekends are, are, are beginning to become a little bit of a tough issue for me, so, and this week is no different, um, but I'm going to try my best to get these videos out to you guys on time, of course, on schedule. Not many people ask about Vikings, but people do ask about the other, t the other TV shows because um, I don't want to make it seem like there's an imbalance between anime and, um, and the TV shows on the channel, but... It is what it is. So let's talk about this, man. Um, Vikings, last episode, um, Ragnar challenged the Earl to a... I'm hoping that it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I don't know how the Vikings rules go. I don't know. Hopefully we find out in this episode what's really going on. They tortured um, Rolo. Um, I don't know if he gave them up, but I know Ragnar is pissed about it. Um, he didn't give up any information, but I still want to know what's the relationship between the Earl's wife and Rolo. It seems like they had a romantic relationship um, currently because um, she's the one that leaked it. She's the one that's she's the double agent right now under the Earl um, getting the information out there to um, to Floki and and Ragnar. So I don't know what's really going on. So there's this mystery, you know, there's this mystery of whose side is she really on? I know she's upset about the fact of her um, letting the daughter get married to that old, that old man, um, the arranged marriage. She wasn't agree with it. But if that, I don't think that's the only thing that made her turn. There's got to be, there's got to be something else. There's got to be something else going on, you know. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to hop into this episode and try to find out what's really going on. Hopefully they give us more information about what's really going on with her because I'm I'm not entirely sure right now. So let's do this, man. I am ready. I am I am ready to go. So you guys already know what to do. Full reaction down in the description. Um also um guys if you could be a little bit more interactive on this video i was i will really appreciate it um so i'll see you guys for the review uh what's going on guys so welcome back for the review, yeah. Anyways, um, this episode, um, got to see a lot. There was a lot of open. I think I, I think this this is one of the things. In some way, I think the I think the pacing in this episode was absolutely horrible. Why? Why there's a lot of there were too many open. I think me I think in this episode there was probably around I want to say out of the 40 minutes out of the 40 minutes I think we had open ear for probably like 10 minutes like 10 minutes of open ear 10 minutes of time they could have done so much more with I think the pacing of the episode was just too spread out um there was a lot of as I said, a lot of open ear, open, just walking and long for long periods of time. Just, I understand that they paced it because of, you know, um, I think, I think they could have spread out a lot of the first part of the episode. I think after Ragnar beat Arrowson, I think that's where the episode just, it's like they didn't know what else to do for the episode and it was just a lot of you know yes conversations that were necessary there were scenes that were really good after that but the pacing of it was just it was just horrible like i think we got 
I think the first 10 minutes of the episode, the fight went down. So it's like, what do we do with the next 30 minutes? Just, you know what I mean? So I'm glad. That's just the one fault that I have with the episode. I think the pacing was horrible. But other than that, some great stuff happened. We now have a new Earl, which is Ragnar. Um, you know, watching these shows sometimes, you you know, you might think, oh, they're going to kill you know they could have possibly killed Ragnar but at the same time you know I kind of like equate a lot of a lot of shows that I watch now to Game of Thrones and I need to remember that not all TV shows are Game of Thrones where they will kill a um main protagonist right so it's I am here I am here I'm ready for it but at the same time I'm glad he's not dead so he's the new Earl with his kids, whatever the situation is, everybody seems to be good. They killed the old dude that married the daughter. Um, um, the biggest thing about this episode was, um, what is Rolo planning? Cause he's talking to the to um, Harrelson's wife or I don't know widow, I should say. He's talking to her as if he's planning to a coup to take over because he's like don't you want to be married to an earl and she's like who who are you talking about you're talking about me of course you know what i mean so, so why would he be planning or is he jealous is he jealous i don't know it's a love-hate relationship with rollo at this point where i don't i don't understand what his motive is is he going to i don't know you know what i'm saying so I'm going to keep an eye on him. And as I said, there's not much to talk about in this episode. There's really, there's really not. That was the only really, you know, after the fight. I mean, it's all conversations and explaining for two minutes what Ragnarok is. You know, the priest wanted to know. And I'm trying to think of things that happened in this episode that was that was, you know, it was just only those two points. We had to fight. Um, the, the the fight was very entertaining. Um, and, of course, Ragnar won. Found out, I don't know what Rolo is up to. And then we had the last scene taking place in England. Right? So, I'm trying to remember if there was anything else. I mean, they killed the right-hand man of... of Harrelson's right hand man because he was like oh kill them after the fight he got killed Rolo killed him um yeah it's pretty much it um as I said the pacing of this episode don't get me wrong I like the episode it's just that I think they could have done a lot more with the episode so I would not give this episode not even a 9 out of 10. I would give it like an 8. Because they could have done so much more with those long-winded scenes that, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, they're preparing to go to England again, which is great. I can't wait to see Ragnar back. Um, and I can't wait to see him, you know, fully healthy again, 100%. Like, I'm waiting to see him be 100% again. Um, Bjorn... I don't like his attitude. I I don't like his attitude, and I understand that he wants to be a man or whatever. And I'm I'm happy when Ragnar shuts him down and be like, "Listen, boy, you need to sit your ass down. I don't don't be so eager to go fight battles because you don't know what what this is about yet. You know what I'm saying? You can always be eager because you know your dad does it. You want to do it too. But at the same time, you're still a kid. You're still a child. You don't really know what real battle is. You may have even seen it because he was there for the fight. And he's seen people being killed before. But at the same time, it's a different thing when you yourself is in it. You might freeze up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who he's going to be or what type of warrior he's going to be in the future. Um, but he's not ready. He's not ready. I don't think he's ready. Um, so I'm glad Ragnar is shutting him down right now. Um, and the last scene with the with that king over there in in North is something or another. <laughs> Somewhere over there with the king um, throwing his dude that didn't win the fight. 
and threw him in the snake pit. Um, I don't know what he planning to, where is he planning to put snakes to, to set them up for the Vikings. I have no idea, but I guess we'll get to see that. So this episode, I give it an 8 out of 10 because I think they could have done a lot more with this episode. This was a lot of open winded areas that they could have filled in with a lot more stuff. I think, I think they could have the stuff that they sh that they showed after the fight. They should have done that first. I think a lot. I, I think a lot of the stuff that happened, not the things that you know happened as a result of the fight, but the fight could have happened midway through the episode instead of at the beginning beginning of the episode you get what i'm saying they could have shown what happened in england at the at the beginning of the episode but they waited until the end and the, you know so i'm just saying it would have been more excited to see the first half of the episode at the end and then you have all of this stuff led up to it you get what i'm saying um and then the aftermath the the guy getting killed the right harrelson's right hand man the result of, you know, they could have shown that scene with Rolo. That should have been the end of the episode. If they had shown that at the end of the episode, would have been a great setup for the next one. Getting you to think about things of if Rolo is planning a coup or not. I think the structure of the episode was just, it was just weird to me. And the pacing was terrible. So, that's just my only qualm with the episode, really. So, thank you guys for watching as always, man. Hope you guys had a chance to see this review. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that notification bell. Join the Discord channel. Um, Discord server link is down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. You are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Thank you guys for watching, man. Peace.